Welcome everybody today to um, the presentation about accelerating SAP change. Um, I'm James Roberts, I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Basis Technologies and we're just located around the corner on the Suzy stand today. Uh, Basis Technologies uh, are uh, been around for the last 20 years or so. We specialize in automation tools for SAP uh, and our focus currently is around enabling agile DevOps and continuous delivery for our customers. Uh, we're headquartered in London, uh, but we have offices over here in the US uh, and various other locations around Europe. Um, and you can see some of our customers uh, on the screen there, uh, largely, um, mainly large complex uh, environments uh, with high volumes of change. So accelerating SAP change, why are we here, why is this important? So in today's uh, session we're going to look at the, the reason why it's important to change at speed. Um, we're going to look at DevOps, what is DevOps and why, why are companies looking at this method of delivering SAP change. Um, and a look at what we actually need to automate in SAP to enable this. Um, and we'll also have a look at S4 HANA, because a lot of customers are now looking at S4 HANA, of course, as we've seen today in the, in the sessions. Um, and we'll look at how basic technologies can actually help with this. So digital transformation, pretty much every booth in the show is talking about digital transformation. Um, and it's a real enabler to uh, empower organizations to make them suitable for the digital world that we live in. Um, companies need, need to be built to change. They need to be agile. They need to be able to respond to the, uh, the digital age and market conditions, changing market conditions. Uh, and it, this is all driven by customer demands, a massive increase in customer demands um, and a massive evolution in technology. So customers need to be able to innovate. They need to bring new products, solutions to market. Um, they need to do this much faster than they've ever had to do before. Um, and they need to be competitive. They have to differentiate themselves from their, from their competition, do something different, do something better, do something faster. And therefore, our SAP systems have got to be able to support the transition and the transformation. Uh, and whatever the force of change is, whether it's Internet of Things, analytics, big data, or whether there are organizational changes driven by um, mergers, acquisitions, whatever, um, or, or even whether we're doing technology moves, you know, moving to the cloud, moving to S4 HANA. Um, we need IT projects and we need our, our, our business systems to be able to support this. And that's where um, SAP and our enterprise apps must have agility, they must evolve. We can't be stuck in the old monolithic ALM release cycles, two releases a year mode, we have to move into much faster delivery, we have to be adaptive, we must be responsive, we must uh, respond to business needs and market needs. Um, and we have to do it faster and more frequently than we've ever needed to do before. So this is where DevOps comes in. Um, for the last couple of years we've been talking about DevOps for SAP. It's pretty much commonplace for most IT platforms to deliver using DevOps and con continuous delivery, uh, but not so much with, with SAP. Um, but we're actually seeing a massive increase now in DevOps uh, for SAP, and it's, it's bringing together both speed and safety. Um, so uh, for those who are not that familiar with DevOps, um, essentially it's a methodology built around agile principles where we are delivering frequently to the business. We're, we're, we're able to be much more responsive to business needs, market needs, customer needs, um, and we're able then to change quickly, frequently, but with safety. Uh, but you can't do DevOps just with tools. You have to have the IT and business transformation. We've got to break down uh, the traditional dev, QA, basis, security teams, business teams, and actually bring them together so they collaborate as one, driven by business needs and business outcomes. So many, many customers are, are on a journey. I mean, I've heard the, 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 the story about journeys throughout the last day and a half here, yeah? DevOps is, is no exception. It's all about an evolution from where you are now, which, which might be in waterfall, two releases a year, four releases a year processes, um, where it's really unresponsive. It's difficult to change direction. The business waits too long to get the stuff they need. 
to agile processes where we're delivering in smaller, more frequent releases, we're able to change direction a lot more quickly, we're able to respond to, uh, to, to, to needs. Um, and the actual impact to deliver the smaller releases is much, much less than in our old six monthly thousands of changes going live mode. The really um, leading edge companies are now moving to, to DevOps and continuous delivery. Um, and this is, it's not about delivering hundreds or thousands of changes a day like the Amazons and the Netflix of the world. It's about delivering at the speed that the business needs. It's about being responsive. It's about implementing automation. You can't do DevOps without automation. It's massively important. And that's what's going to take away the risk and improve the quality. And you're going to get greater business alignment, greater business satisfaction, and much better productivity and efficiency. So automation, as I said, is really, really important. And the issue we've got in SAP is that the architecture of SAP is very different to most uh, applications. We don't check out our code, build in uh, independent environments, and then, and then check into a, to a, a branch. We actually all work in the same development system, and therefore we have to have specialized automation tooling to enable uh, the DevOps and continuous delivery processes inside SAP. So we need to automate our quality, our risk, our impact checks. Um, we need to automate our build and sequencing. We, meet, we need to bring in the continuous integration processes that allow us to uh, take what we've built and properly integrate into the system with safety, with everything sequenced correctly, everything, everything complete and, and ready to, uh, to, 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 uh, to deliver. And really, really important is dependency management. We know how integrated SAP is, both, both within modules and across modules, um, and it's really important that we're able to say, if I want to deliver this bit of functionality, can I do so safely knowing that I understand the dependencies between this set of changes and everything else that's going on? We want to automate our deployments, but we don't want to just automate, we want to orchestrate these. We want to, we want to deploy automated processes across modules, we want to automate our deployments across both SAP and related non-SAP systems. SAP is not an island, we have to bring in um, our mobile apps, our web apps, our, our external hybrid applications and they've all, they've all got to be holistically managed uh, as part of an automated deployment process. And we have to automate testing. I've spoken to so many people today um, where the testing is a massive bottleneck. Their regression testing takes weeks and weeks and weeks. It's not responsive. You can't deliver quickly and then spend three weeks doing some testing. Yeah? We have to have robust, repeatable, automated test processes. And when we're doing our testing, we have to be testing in relevant QA environments. We have to be able to provision production-like copies of systems so the testing and validation of our change is actually done in systems that actually look like the systems that people actually use. And finally, we need to measure our performance. Yeah? DevOps is a fundamental part of this is about uh, continuous improvement. We have to look at what we did well, what we didn't do so well, and improve and evolve along the way. But there's also S4 HANA to consider. Yeah, we've got all these IT transformation programs going on, we've got business transformation programs going on, and we are also then being challenged to, challenged to um, evolve to S4 HANA. Now, we're going to see a load of benefits with S4 HANA. We're going to have great, great simplified processes, great user experience, real-time analytics, and all the other great benefits we, we, we will see for that. But trying to manage S4 transition, trying to manage all these digital and IT transformation projects all at the same time is proving to be a massive challenge. Most of you here will probably have seen these various different options that people can take to transform to HANA, whether it's a straight conversion of current ERP into HANA, whether you're actually consolidating regional um, or, or disparate uh, systems, maybe you've acquired companies and you've got multiple ERPs that you're then transitioning to a single HANA system, or, or maybe you're going greenfield. We're working with some companies who, who are saying the journey to after HANA is maybe a little bit too complex for our customized environment. We're actually going to re-implement greenfield. 
um, take SAP systems and non-SAP systems and build the processes at S4 HANA. So it's really important that we look at the as is and the to be during the migration. And what I mean by that is S4 transition programs potentially are going to take customers a number of years. You know, some of the companies we're working with have got five, six, seven year transition journeys. The business can't stop because you're doing an S4 HANA transition. You're still going to have to do um, IT projects, business projects, um, respond to uh, market needs, customer needs. So we, we have to have the ability to manage our current ERP, manage our S4 HANA programs and align and synchronize between the two. So we have to understand well, what, 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 what we're going to build in ERP that still needs to then transition over to HANA. What's no longer relevant in the HANA world so we, we, we don't need to do a synchronization. So we, we, have, to, we have to be able to manage uh, both, both uh, the, these challenges together. And if you are one of the, uh, the kind of companies who've got multiple ERPs, multiple regions, how are you going to consolidate your systems? How are you going to bring in um, all the different custom code and manage that, the different set of configuration? How are you going to actually manage to, to consolidate that into a single HANA system? And at the end, you've got to validate your end state. You've got to test it and prove it's fit for purpose. So basic technologies, how do we help? So, as I mentioned at the beginning, we've got a whole suite of automation tooling that's enabling our customers to uh, manage traditional change that it has in the past, but also the transformational projects that we're, uh, we're undergoing and seeing today. Um, and we, we're pr predominantly around these key areas, about release automation, managing change, automating change, enabling customers to move to agile DevOps and cont continuous delivery processes. Um, we're about environment auto automation, bringing, bringing and provisioning those QA environments that are really important uh, to validate what we're, we've actually built. Um, but we're also about automating the whole process, everything from the point of development and the point of change all the way through delivery, through to delivery and production needs to be fully automated. And what this is going to do is improve the quality, it's going to take away the risk, um, and it's going to enable us to uh, have a much more efficient and modernized delivery process. And then crucially, um, our uh, dev analytics solution will then enable you to um, uh, monitor and, and deliver KPIs and metrics that will show you how well your processes are working, how well or, or not, um, so you can then drive those improvements in efficiency. All of this comes underneath the banner of our DevOps tool set and this is made up of a, of a, a whole range of different uh, tools and solutions that support these various, uh, various challenges that companies are having. So essentially what we're doing is creating this responsive and adaptive model that I talked about earlier and the most crucial thing is that we are enabling companies to selectively choose what they wanted to, to deliver, to do it automatically and to do it on demand for the business. So people don't have to wait months in locked in release cycles to deliver change. They can selectively, selectively choose what's done and deliver that with confidence that that is a, a holistic unit of, uh, of work that can be safely deployed into production. Because at the end of the day, we can't do this if we're gonna impact business continuity and impact systems. And essentially what we're doing is giving our customers the, the flexibility to change when the business needs. So like I said before, we're not doing it 100 times a day because we can. We're doing it because the business needs it. But we're doing it without breaking things. And the kind of, kind of things that we've seen from some of our customers, there's a few logos there that, um, that we, we can see who are using our solutions and have delivered um, some significant benefits really. So massively faster application delivery, big reductions in downtime and outages and incidents, um, massive amounts of time ch saved because the process is largely automated end to end, and big big savings in cost and time uh, through the whole automated process and the lack of errors and and, uh, and disruptions to the business. So to conclude. Um, SAP systems need to be responsive. We need to be much more agile um, than we've ever needed to be before. Um, and DevOps 
can be a real powerful enabler to do this and it crucially will bring together speed, quality improvements and risk reductions. But you can't do it without automation tooling. You have to have the relevant automation tooling, you have to have tooling that's relevant for SAP um, and this is where basis technologies can help. We've been, we've been doing this for over 20 years uh, and essentially we're enabling our customers to uh, manage their change and transformational journeys um, that they're going to be doing today and into the future into the S4 HANA world. So that's the end of my presentation. I'd like to thank you for your attention and uh, if anyone has any questions I'm happy to take them now or we can have a chat on the, on the stand just around uh, behind the theatre afterwards.